G'day! Welcome back to Colony Survival. This is episode 26. So last blooming episode, we put a new tunnel connecting the uh, the new underground farms to the to the main base here. We sealed up the old ones. We started digging a brand new tree farm, and we tried to fix our food problems by firing some well, firing but changing the jobs of the colonists from guards over to berry farmers and it has done the trick i must admit we are up near the 3000 food again it was a little bit of a problem we were down in the red constantly it was just oh it was absolutely crazy now that's caused a little bit of a problem a ripple problem so if we come over here i've, I've fixed the problem since but if we come over here uh, i should have fixed the problem uh, yeah, I have fixed the problem. These guys actually made it quite the distance in. Now, I fixed the problem by installing... All the way through here. Boom. I put three crossbow guys for heavier damage. But look at this. Look how far they are making it in now. Uh, since we've, we've removed half the bloody... The guards here. But they are... Yeah, a little bit of a... Bit of a situation, actually... They're making it in even further than I thought. But yeah, they, they, they made it in further than bef this before without these guys here. And uh, ended up had to manually kill them um, as they went around the maze there because my guards just couldn't keep up. So I gave them a hand. It seems to be... It seems... They seem to be under control at the moment. But uh, we definitely have to upgrade this because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that it's it's going to be no good if they if they manage to get through. Now remember, they changed a little while. The more colonists you have, uh, the more zombies that will spawn. So obviously, we're going to have some more colonists very soon, and we're going to have to upgrade our defenses. Uh, but for now, I think the three crossbow guys at the back here is enough DPS to take down anything that comes at them. So there, it's under control at the moment. But we got to keep an eye on it. It's not, for, as you've seen, it was right down here. It's definitely not, uh, it's not 100%. That uh, we don't have enough to upgrade any of them to the guns yet, to the gun guys yet. Um, unfortunately, yes, we don't have enough resources to, to upgrade that. But look at this, uh, sun's coming up. Look, flaming beautiful castle. Uh, all right, you guys, wow, there's still a little bit left, isn't there? All right, so... I'll take you downstairs to the other thing that we're working on because by the look of these un 10 unemployed blokes here, that's right, these blokes here are unemployed. So by the look of that, they have finished the job that we assigned them last episode. So if we come down the hallway here. Oh, you may have noticed I put lights and fixed the hallway up. Oh, and I put the, the stairs on both sides going down now instead of just one. And oh, by the look of it, it is done. Oh, it is definitely done. Flame and Galah, they finished. Wow. Wow. That looks cool. Looks like it's been taken out of a slice. That, that, that's awesome. There's like a slice out of it. I, 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 I'm going to take a screenshot of that, I think. That's bloody brilliant, that. Um, but, um, yeah, they finished the job. Now, this is our brand new tree farm section because right now we can't keep up with the demand. And we've got 50 unemployed blokes, so let's go ahead and put those guys to work. And they're still shooting, are they? I'm a little bit worried about that. We'll have a look later. Um, what we'll do is get a construction. We want a... Uh, uh, well, first off, I need to measure. Hang on, I need to do some measurements first. Okay, so this back area here is going to be the wall, right? I haven't dug that bit out, but just say that is the wall. Yep, that's going to be the wall. Okay, and obviously that's the dirt block. And get rid of these. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, so that's all going to be dirt in the corner here. So it's a 10 by 10. So that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That leaves a 3 gap for the wood. Yep, see the planks that we got? And a 3 gap here. That's perfect. That looks to be about perfect. So what we'll tell our builder guys to do construction and build an area we want to take dirt please and i want to make oh no no uh do we want to no fine fine I'll, I'll i'll remove it just because it's been a pain in the bum there okay so we want to take that area there and we want to fill it completely in with dirt and it shouldn't take them too long completely all the way back we have a three gap here 
Yep, that's a three gap all the way back there. Boom. Done. And we'll quickly get these guys back to work. ASAP. So we'll come down here and just flip one, uh, ten of them. Let's get ten of them all in here. Just so they get it done really quickly. I love having people work for me. It's bloody brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Alright, and then we'll just uh, plop a crate there behind them. So they can do their job. Okay, so those guys are doing that job. Let's go ahead and put a couple more guards in, I think. Now that we've got the food under control, and I'm not too, too worried about um, anything else. We've got all these guys that are going to come fill all that in for us. Our new farm down. So see, wood. Wood charcoal problems, obviously. We need, we need to turn down the plank production. I think a fan pointed that out a while ago. Uh, that the, the plank production was a little OP, but... Um, yeah, so we'll end up turning that down. Alright. So, we're going to hire some extra guards now. Only because I'm a little worried about them making it, you know, fully through, full of maze. So, what we'll do is come over here. What is that noise? Oh, they're all sleeping. Can look out the window? Yeah, can look out the window. Alright, so... What we need to do is, over this side now, this is the brand new side we're going to get all hooked up is we're going to start hiring guys in here. So let's go ahead and slap some stairs in here. There we go, just so they can get up and down. And we'll just hire a couple of bow guys just to sit along here, just in case anything sort of makes it out. Just like we got over here. So what we'll do, come over here. Actually, we'll do a couple of heavy-duty ones, all right? Um, so we're going to go guard. And we're going to say, hey, we want a nighttime guard. And we'll go for crossbow at the moment because we don't have enough for anything else. And we'll say back there, one, two, three, and four. There we go. So there's four emergency guys just in case that doesn't screw up. And we're going to hire a couple of guys, but that's okay. And recruit, 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 recruit. All right, that's taking care of that. Taking care of business. Um, okay, so what we'll also do is light up the tunnel a little bit in here, shall we? It's a bit dark, if you ask me. Try to keep what we've been doing here every second block. Yep, every second. That doesn't look second to me, Data. There we go. And every second block, just put a torch in here. And yeah, see, as our defenses extend, we just got to keep extending this. But to be honest, I want to upgrade a few of them. I uh, definitely want to upgrade a few. I'm gonna. I want to fire the two blokes at the front door, and I'll explain why in a second. Yeah, I'll explain why in a second. There we go. Um, we'll do the whole, t just this whole little section here. Now, remember, we are putting beds in the end of these, uh, at the end, but we haven't obviously got that far yet. Once things start to get a little out of control. All right, come through. Go ahead and place a block back there. That would obviously be handy. And go down. And slap that back on there like that. Oh, well. Um, it was there. Okay. Just making sure so on the way back we sort of get it, if you know what I mean. Did I get that? Yes, I did get that. Alright, got that one. Alright, so that's going to brighten this whole tunnel. To be honest, we should be losing lanterns. But again, don't have enough resources. I can't even do the farms downstairs yet with lanterns. So torches are definitely the cheap alternative for now. And just take this all the way back. Boom, boom. I'm getting faster. Oh yeah, go faster. Boom, boom. Alright, I haven't missed any because, you know, I know for a fact... That people will point it out. Alright, Bob's your uncle. New section all done and dusted, I think. We've even got we've even got a few brand new guys standing here, yep, ready to take on anyone that makes it through the section there. That is bloody brilliant. Okay, so night time's just about to set in. Let's go ahead and change the guards at the front door. And I was gonna explain that very shortly, so the guards are often doing their thing. So we'll come up to the second level right here that's right we'll come to the second level and we're gonna say you're fired remove and remove now the reason why I'm doing this and you're probably like what the flaming galah is he doing what a fruit loop well there's there's the these guards don't do anything 
Um, and not just that. Is You know how I just said like the zombies actually made it through the loop before? Um, these guys didn't do anything because the time that the zombies do a complete loop of the wall, daytime sets in and all the nighttime guards go to sleep, including these blokes here. Right? Right. So technically we're going to need a couple of daytime guards for them to actually do anything. So as an emergency caution, if they do make it through the whole maze, well, time that they do make it through, because it takes a whole night for them to maze it, then get through here, we're going to need daytime guards. And yeah, I didn't think of that before. So daytime guards, and we're actually going to hire a couple of big heavy, heavy guys for this, couple of gun ones for that. There we go. She should be all set and ready to go. Those guys will be hired, and they should be should be given some balls and some pouches. I'm hoping, and they should be right to to go. Uh, let's jump down here. Ouch! That actually flame and hurt. But there we go. So those those guys will only come out at the daytime. These guys are all set up and ready. I'm just going to make sure the new two, new four new guards that we've hired over here. Yep. Look at that. Perfect. They're all ready to go and to take on any extras. I really want to turn these guys around. I've all just just want to turn them around. Yep. Okay. So that's all going good now. Let's go downstairs and see what's going. So all about like micromanaging right now, just taking care of business. So go down here. We'll go see how far they made it and uh, putting all the dirt down for me. And uh, down here. Okay. Dirt's down. Fan bloody tastic. Take that out. Okay, so f next job the blokes can do, we'll go ahead and tell them to, in construction, build area. Unfortunately, we are not sitting at, oh, we're sitting at the, we'll do planks next. So the planks, what I want to do, ah, we'll put the planks right through. But the planks, I think, are going to go all the way through. Wow, it's dark down here. We're going to need some lighting. Take it all the way back. To here, but dump. There we go. So the new underground. So eventually, all the farms will be connected underground. Uh, big giant square. So right around the castle is going to be a big square of farms. And every time we want to put another farm in, we just go down deeper. We've got so much room to do that. So I'm, I'm not too concerned at this point in time. So let's go ahead and just slap those ten guys on this job here. Slap. A crate there for the bloke to blokes to use. So during the day they should come and install that, um, and we'll set the set on a second job here. Well, not a second job. How's the research going? Stone block. This must be not doing too bad. Uh, uh, do this, uh, it's been ages since it's been moving, so we've got to sort of take care of that soon. Um, we're going to set another construction job. So when they finish thing, I want them to go ahead and ah, oh, we can't set a second construction job. Oh, bugger. Can we set out a dig area at least? Yeah, we could do a dig area, but we can't do a we can't do a secondary uh construction job, which is which is quite bad. Which is definitely quite bad. Um Let's try it again. Click, 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 click. No, nah, it wants me to put that in that. Okay, so one construction job at a time. Unfortunately. So alright, that's fine. Dig area. And when these blokes are finished with that, I want them to dig out ugh, all this wall here because it was going to be obviously replaced here boom and we'll just set uh the 10 blokes on that too one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there we go so when they finished over here they're going to come over here and dig this wall out and then when they finish that when they when they're doing that i'll set these blokes here set the next task to obviously do the back wall here and then I don't know how it's going to work for the for the roof. I really want to obviously get the roof in. Um, that's going to be bloody nuts. And then i got this section here to do. So one thing at a time. I'm not too, too worried just yet. Um, don't freak out just yet. We'll put a torch over here. Just sort of brighten things up. It's flaming dark down here. But uh, that's going to be cool. It's definitely going to be two stories of uh, farm. Damn, definitely awesome. Now... The reason why, I know for a fact that we only needed to go 10, uh, not 10, sorry, 4 blocks tall. So we could have squeezed almost 2 floors, almost, that's without the lighting. 
So, but I, I, for a tree farm, it just needs to be large open area. It doesn't feel right if it's squeezed into a certain amount, a certain amount of space. So that's why I've gone the nice, nice amount of blocks. And remember, the roof is coming down by one, like this here. It is coming down by one. We're going to have lanterns, obviously, in the roof, which we are producing. We've only got 29. Oh, by the way, I finished the lanterns all the way down to the back wall. I forgot to say that. All right, so those guys are doing that, and these guys should... Really? Uh, what do they need? What, what's, what's going on? Why is there a cross there? Is that a person? I've got one of those. It's a for storage or gifting crate. Not used by colonists. Well, why do they want it? Okay, I'm curious now. What the flame and galah is this thing? And what the flame and galah, why do they want it? It's over here. Oh, it's in the way. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. There you go. It was in the way. I put it down there. My bad. There we go. Should fix that. Is that going to fix it? I thought maybe it's in the way and they can't place it down. Uh, let me put it back in the, in here then. There we go. Done. Oh, it's done. Oh, did I select the wrong one? Oh, you bloody flaming fruit loop. You guys have probably been screaming at me. My bad. Hang on. Let me let me change it up. Let me change it up. Remove area. That could have been terrible. I was like, what the hell? I swear I've... I swear I... Oh, construction... Oh, oh these blokes are probably going to go over there now. Yeah. Ah. Construction. Construction job. And of course. Of course. And I can't set a second construction job now. They have to remove the wall. Oh, that's nice. That is, that's lovely. So, yeah, it turns out I clicked the wrong block and uh, trying to build it out of these blocks here was a my bad. Oh, it shouldn't take them long to get rid of that anyway. Come on, boy. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Get rid of the wall. Nom, 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 nom. Eat it all up. <laughs> oh, Struth. And what is wrong with you? He's got a pathing problem. All right, no problem. Well, these guys, these blokes have found it. Yeah, these blokes are all found it. All right, one more little bit here, and they should be done. And we can start finally getting the floor done. That was so silly. Done, 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 done. All right, construction, construction job. Uh, what? Ah, oh, man, I've been pre I've been pressing the wrong button all this time. Sorry, build area. Ya flaming goose. That block. Alright. This should be the right block this time. Oh, what a bloody stuff up that was. Click on the wrong flaming things. There. Okay. I got it now, guys. I got it. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like a silly duffer. Alright, let's go ahead and flop these in here. Dun, 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 dun. They're all going to come back. You guys, what is wrong with you? We found out last episode how to unbug them. If they're bugs, you actually need to place down a crate next to them and they unbug. And I don't know why. I think this might be a bug of the game. But they just... See? Unbug. Like, really, really? It's weird. Alright, you're not going to place down the wrong blocks on me, are you? Flame and color. Oh, Okay. Construction, uh, build area. I've been clicking the wrong freaking buttons all this time. All right, build this whole area up, please. There we go. And when you're done, get this job. See, we're getting we're getting things done. And we want ten. Done, done. Oh, not quite ten. Nine will do. Wish these guys are almost done the flooring. Yep, lovely. The flooring is almost installed. All right, let's go ahead and head upstairs now. Um, or should we... No, we should get the back wall done too. If we're going to do multiple construction, we'll go ahead and get the front the, the wall done as well. Uh, build. I keep hitting construction job and it's build. Uh, that one. Don't hit the wrong block. That one. Oh, no. Can we click 
that block off. Fine. All right. D remove area. Oh, really? Remove. All right. Command. Oh. All right. Command tool. Build area. Block. Okay. Well, we'll have him build the bot the top path first if it's going to be a, that much of a pain. Unless I can't. I actually wait. Okay, I got an idea. I come over here, then do that. Ah, I got it this time. Start from the opposite way. But we'll go ahead and just jump. And we should be able to connect that. There we go. Lovely. Put another... One, uh, whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just throw another crate behind them. Throw another crate behind them. Ha ha! I got them going quick now after that flaming screw up. Got it going real good. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs and make sure. Really? He just real. That's just one section right there. He's bugging out. There. You're right. You're fixed. <laughs> Okay, all right, brilliant. Okay, so we got these guys all sorted out now. That was my biggest derpiness ever, but they sh I should have this done before next episode anyway, which is bloody good here. I got to do the roof is probably what's going to get me. Then we can go ahead and start getting these guys planted. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode twenty six here of Colony Survival. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content. Make sure you smash all those buttons. Leave a comment below. You can you can tell me how derpy I was. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, and don't forget the playlist is in the description. Uh, and share that on your favorite social media. It'd be much appreciated. Build faster. Um, and I'll catch us all later. Oh, it's night time. No, they're going to bed. Get back to work.